I found the hose, the overflow holes. There's the original overflow. Put down there like that, I think. Yep, felt like it popped on something. You know, I would put that toward the front of the bike so it pukes on the ground outside. Just round it down behind the oil filter. Yeah. Seat out the front somewhere. Sticking out the, uh, down the other side. Up the side. Yeah, it's right, right to his shoe. Here, we'll stick that down here in the motor mount. Yeah, it's not quite long enough, but yeah, it's, all right. it's fine. It's, it's, all it's best if you don't collect gas on top of your starter motor. Sometimes, Electricity. Sometimes heat, there are know. sparks when you hit the motor. Okay. Now, we know it's lean. One, two, I think we have to put a bigger jet in this carburetor. One turn out. Gas is on. There's these big two inch drag pipes on here. It appears no it might be a little lean. It's only 1200. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Stock. It appears that it's not getting wet on the ground. No leaks. Yeah. Put it on just to make sure. No fuel leaking out of the overflow. You hear uh, the accelerator pump working? Let's see. The throttle cable is binding. See, it's not going any further when you push on it here. And it's wide open. Screen. You again. It's not puking feel in the last five minutes. Not? And the access hole works perfectly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The ass yeah. hole works perfectly. That too. The one behind the wheel is the best one. Some with the nut yeah, between the handlebar brilliant. and the pegs. I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens now. Holy oh, smokes. Kabram! You guys have to pull a clutch in this thing to make it start? Yep. That is so stupid. Or the brake. No. You gotta give it a chance, too. Or you gotta put the ignition on. It's on. Is this on?
they're a little flat right off the idle. The idle mixture screw is a half turn out, so it, it needs more bit jet. So I'm going to drop the float bowl off, which we get to pull those back off again. And we're going to put the 27.5 jet in it. We did 25 inch of stock. Other than that, it appears to be taking the throttle pretty nicely. So, it's getting okay. better. Mm -hmm. Just got uh, putting a bigger jet. Yeah, I went to 27.5. Short out of my studio, so I'm using this one. Is this one long enough? Uh, I believe it, it is the appropriate length for what you're doing. Is that screwdriver long enough? I have a longer one. I say I think we have a two foot one somewhere. I do. I have a long one. That's the one I brought a couple weeks ago. Got fixed. All right. Where's the? Uh, I, I need to bring a, a whole. I have a whole bucket full of broken snap on shit. Snap off shit. Bring it in here. I'll uh, fix it in this guy. Are you, you working? Oh. I, I always miss him. Like I'll, so, I'll see him and I won't have the shit with me. Tuesdays. Hmm. They're all day Tuesday. His last stop is right at the Navy what, what? Exchange about noon. I'll have to find him. Just when I catch up with him. Yeah. Okay, man, don't leave yet. What do you need? No, the new admission. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a whole bunch of snap off stuff. Okay. I got three taps, a couple yeah, dies yeah. that I need. You must have used them once. You have another one? Uh, the die was only once. Taps, I got and then there was some the use out of. box, right? Three times. Yeah, probably. And it was well, all no, 5 16 24. I don't know what, what the big issue with that size is, but the die and the yeah, tap both broke. And that was on the loosest setting on the die. That darn gas tank was at 500 bucks when I looked at it. Half a gas tank for 500 bucks? Brand new to NS Harley. Oh, What'd so it sell for? I don't know. It's like I got 500 bucks to put in my tank. And the brand new gas tank for a 1949 Pandit. So was there two new ignition switches Cheap or just one? I didn't read up on it. I saw five. <laughs> yeah, okay. you just look at the price. Oh my god, that's way too much money. Then you look to see what you're buying. Okay. Get over yeah. It? You'll get over it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you get over it. Well, let me let me rephrase that. I don't have any money. Well, I don't <laughs> care about that problem. That is not my issue. Yeah, man. gotcha. Well, I'll let them know. All right, I'll keep you updated. Where are we at here? Sure. The choke. Let us. I'm not sure what the problem is right now. Yeah, the choke's digging in the head. There you go. Get out of the way. No, oh, you're in there. All right, Put I just. Down a little bit. Hey Fred, you know that stereo works? Start again. Yeah. Yeah. This one here? Yeah. No, to plug in? To plug your phone into it? Oh, that's the problem. Yeah. We did it earlier. Yeah, I think I'll have to close. You have to get the drain hose out of the middle of the intake manifold for it to go in the hole. That would probably help. So make sure you make a note of that. Yeah. It's on the video. Oh, sweet. You got dinner break over here already? Yeah, we did that already. Wait, what? We got dinner break already? That was all Fred. Fred brought the dinner? He brought munchies and... Bring the water? Ironically. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. you. I just tried to hand you water. Oh. Yeah, you weren't even paying attention. It dirty. I don't have time to eat. Dude. I'm working. Goddamn creeper scooter. He's always in a way tripping on me. Stuff gets away when I'm trying to work. It just doesn't work. I'm going to buy a Vespa and bring it in here and have you fix it up. I'm going to throw that thing right out in the street. <laughs> the hilarious is a fucking semi goes rolling. <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. I'll go to the freeway and throw it off the bridge. <laughs> then there'd be, a, the bridge. there'd be a 15 car pile up. And... What's that? I got a job interview at Where's Coronado. the, uh, oh, yeah. cool. yeah. the chingus out here? Remember I was I telling you about like how long you try to get a job? Yeah, yeah go talk yeah. somewhere else. We're busy. What? I'm trying to work here. You don't want the whole world to know your business. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know their business. I already heard it about 15 times. I didn't care the first time I heard it. That, that uh, plate appears to be uh, bowing out a little bit there. That's the gasket. Oh, okay. That, that would never leak anything, so we're okay. <laughs> I was noticing the, uh, yeah. I think maybe the carbs are a different angle than it used to be, but. You notice that every time I torque it, it changes? Mm hmm There. Car 
carburetor off the rear head. Look at this one. Take a minute. What? What are those? OEM 1948, an up pan head gas tank knucklehead. They're 500 Four bucks. Nine. But for That's both. both of them. Yeah, but the other one was brand new. So used. There's a difference between brand new, original, and used original that somebody blasted me. I had no idea what the inside looks like or what the brackets look like or anything else. So it's the same. All right, let's go. The ambulance coming by again. One of the bums must have fell down off the uh, overpass over there again. Tripped underneath the on the bottom pass. Yeah, that's the camera. Do you like that 3D effect? Whoa. Alright, one more time. I'm pretty good at this now. It's as good as my race bike now. I got it. Turn the motor. All, yeah, all the. Is that adapter the same style that, or same thing that Harley did when they're with the Screaming Eagle kids? This adapter. Or an adapter like that? Or no, that's it? actually for the Curioc and uh, air cleaner. <laughs> oh. But it's a nice billet one that clamps on hard and like that stupid one the CUNY makes just slips on. Mm -hmm. It's actually a billet one that bolts on good. Okay. So I got a couple of yeah, cheapy ones in stock, order up coming in, and they're like 20, 25 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. But that one there is a billet one, that thing's like 70 bucks or 60 bucks or something like yeah. that. But it's a big improvement. And I was just curious how hard they did it from the Screaming Eagle McCoonie. They usually just have some kind of a slip-on bracket. They just use McCoonie parts. And then they just have like the just, bracket actually just, just holds it. All this means is that they Harley dealer sold it. Yeah. It cost extra. It's the yeah. same car where you buy it aftermarket. There's no difference. Harley doesn't know how to make anything right. That's why they bought it McCoonie. Okay. Turn the gas on. No leaks. We'll shove this back no down there. over here. Off. Yeah, one turn out over there. Should start. Still a little bit lean right off idle. So let's get the ignition swapped out and see what that does and we'll probably have to go up to a 30 on a low speed. Keep playing with a little bit. And actually it's got that one step needle, uh, that's the problem right there I bet. But we're only half a turn out so it's still going to Remember we got that leaner needle in here. Might have to put the stock one back in. So you have all the different steps? Yeah. Well, no, that until we start riding it, but, you know, because that's one step leaner. These stupid pipes he's got. 
just going to keep these pipes we'll have to tune it for. The way it runs, starts. That's where with no choke on at all. So. Good enough for now, I guess. Taking that off. This used to be on there. Yeah, that was in there. We yanked it out physically. Yeah, because the. We took a big pair apart and cramped the hell just, out of nothing. Just gnashed the shit out of it. Nashed That's what came off. Marked it up. It was already marked up. That's there. custom, though. So now this is back off. Yeah. It's extra. And that's, that's shiny. It's already looking better than it did. Yeah, because you can see the wires. Okay, now we're going to stuff is good. Now we're going to take the coil off. Here's one. Figure out yeah, if this is long enough to get all the way over to that side. If it wasn't stuck behind there, it might be. But I still bet you that switch does not fit that hole over on this side. But it might. Okay, what's what holding you, that piece of crap on? Well, what? you got coil? That special coil or a tank lift. Oh, that special lift kit thing. Yeah. Hmm. Extensions on that side, maybe? Yep, all of them. Which one do you want? Uh, give me something long enough I can use. <laughs> First kill, here you go. I'm gonna ratchet. That's all you get. <laughs> so, I told you I was one laying over here on the floor. You know that little trick in the back, these things clicking? Teamwork! Motherfucking so teamwork. Look, we'll come out of the it's fucking teamwork! Wiggle, wiggle. Thank you. Yeah. That looks a lot better. Wiggle it, it down. Down. You just, just a little bit. Alright, now we're gonna put it back in. Yeah. Put the bolt. I forgot I had these handles. Oh, wait, hey, hey, hey there, guy. What? <laughs> Hey, I got shit I need to put on over there, man. You just gotta shove it in, all right? You got a couple holes in your shirt. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Look at that. I don't have got a hole washer. right through their name. Right what are you out, doing? What kind of company does that? Plastic. Here. Why are you putting a washer on the inside? Because it's it's, it's spaced out. It's a space. That's because it's made wrong. Yeah. The washer was on the outside for a reason. Well, here, pull out. Well, I'm not the one that put it back in there. You're 10 years old? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's Now it doesn't work. It has to go behind it because there's a big ass gap. Yeah. Well, where's the gap on this one? That's behind it too. Because it's not the throw cable we're going to be. Oh, wait, yeah, hold on. Oh, well, hold it's, on. it's just taking up the gap that that. Can okay, lift it up one. a little bit more? No. Thank you. Is there another one on the floor over there? No, there's no fucking gap on this one. Alright. Well, no, it's just the gap, whatever the gap was left over from that fucking, uh... What, what tools are on the floor? The tools are Here, I got the bike. I got the bike. How many washers are on the floor? Should be at least one. Alright. So what do we got for spaces? We got a eighth inch per side. So, yeah. Yeah. And that looks like the one that's supposed to slide into the frame. Like the other way it turned around. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it looks like it's supposed to work, but it, you know what? It doesn't. We're gonna, we're gonna go modify this shit some more. <laughs> Let's get this crap off the bike. Let the bike over. Yeah. We're gonna be committed here in a minute. What's that? I'll say. <laughs> it's on the lid. can of lube. <laughs> The, the kickstand's well lubed. Oh, those are really tight. You need to retort those. Too much flashlight too. Let's get all that crap out of the way. Wait, what are we doing? Pull it off. Taking the tank lift off. Yeah, I see the ground lubricant over there. So the kickstand slides better. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get some of that. Well lubricated ground. Right there. Got to spill some gas over there now. Yeah, make it evaporate. Is this a through bolt? Nope. No. Just hides right in there behind it. Okay, we're gonna make this tank fit better than what it was again. We're gonna lift it some more. Give me out of bracket. It's just a matter of how much tonnage it's gonna take. <laughs> Not in either. There's some more in here. I'm thinking we have enough here though. Yeah. We're here on the wrong side. Maybe something like that, maybe. 
We'll use this one. It's expendable. Okay, how many times are we going to put to it? All of them. All of them? All the time. All of them. <laughs> okay, there's our custom bracket. Really? Oh, that was only like 10 tons. What even that? That was only four. Oh, oh, now we're getting up there. There's 20 something. Will it stay? Oh yeah, that's yeah. much, much flatter. It's now broken though. How's it broken? Because it didn't like being squashed like that. Well, what is it now? It's broken. I told you. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. He's broken. It's got a break there How and a break there. Be? Maybe it's not. No, it didn't fall off yet. It's now longer though. Look at it. So that will give them an, or give him an extra, you know, eighth of an inch uh, tank hey, lift. Everything counts when we're doing a lift kit. Yeah, because we want a lot of lift. We want all we can get. Is that a metal brake or? No, it's, it's not a metal brake. Power cut? Yeah. Well, I know it's 25 tons. <laughs> well, if 25 tons doesn't fix it, then, you know, I mean, I don't, maybe 60 tons will. You know, I could try that. <laughs> the gauge goes to 60. Yeah. I mean, that means it's capable of it, right? Yeah. You won't. <laughs> then you got to start wondering about all the other shit on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, those another, are nice and flat though. Look at that. Another custom bracket. Look at that. It doesn't even doesn't even wobble. No wobble. No. Flat. Dead flat. Yeah, I believe that's just the powder coat just split. Okay, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I believe it'll be workable. I'm gonna go with it. Loud. Now we just put together. Backside. Oh. Pretty high tech here, so you know, I'm not used to this high tech shit. Boxes of crappy chrome parts come. <laughs> Didn't come off this bike. Oh, that thing only had like two threads holding it. Huh? Jeez. Is that gonna be too tight for the throttle cable there? The throttle cable should be fine. Flexible. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. There's a three bolt that. There it is. Yeah, I'm still trying to get this side on there, guy. I'm looking for the yellow wrench. I can't find it. It's on that rash. Well, yeah. <laughs> Kelly stole it. <laughs> yeah, I got this one. <laughs> it is? No, we're going to put it on the motor mount. We're working on it, Fred. You know, hey, what, what does this go to? Is this important? We had to fix the brackets again. What uh, I, I have no idea what all these parts are. It's, it's too, obviously needed. It's too new. They wouldn't have had it on the bike if it well, wasn't needed. Oh, yeah. So we don't need this washer anymore. Nope. That washer is, that is washer. no longer a. Uh, That's a nice washer. It is. It's a. Uh, it's a machined, stepped washer. It's uh, it's unnecessary now. Okay, where's the long one at? There it is. Hmm. Yeah. Are we going to have another video on how to do match, a lift bracket uh, modification? You guys doing mix and match I'm going to have to do an A and a B on this bracket modification. Why, because you had to do it the first time and then yeah. this time? Yeah, now it's going to revive the second time. So now it's even better. Now, now it's... Now it's over there. <laughs> and the one that came off it, I picked it up. Uh, well, see, now the, there's now two times more threads now. Yeah, now the bolt's a lot more than it used to be. Not a bolt too long. Yeah, it's, not gonna, it's gonna end up tightening up on itself before it tightens up on the frame. Uh, yeah. Do we got room to go to? Oh yeah, it looks really good over on the other side. <laughs> really? oh, we, yeah. we, haven't, we haven't got to the other side yet, so. Oh, it's it's brilliant. You should have a look. <laughs> wow. So we'll have to put an acorn nut on there just to uh, keep yeah. from... Uh... Yeah, well, he's not gonna want to go for that. <laughs> a chrome acorn nut. No, no, brass one. Yeah. 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 Especially after it, it corrodes a little bit, oh, gets some vertebrae. How's that for a lift kit now? Look at that. That's an extra eighth inch you can squeeze out of a tank lift. Literally crushing squeeze. It. <laughs> crushing the garbage out of it. Now look at it. The cable still work. This one's still two inches too long for some reason. 
We probably could have routed them to the other side, like around the headlight. And they would have been straighter on it. Yeah, but it, and then ran it over this way. Probably could have. <laughs> we still can. Yeah, I know we can because the carburetor's come back off to work on the jetting. All right, look at this. All this shit's gone now. It looks a lot better. What's all this crap underneath here? I have no idea. There is a lot of stuff under here. New bikes. Who knows? Some of it's even connected up to something, but I'm not sure what. All right, here are the... Okay, where's the ignition switch at? Over here. Is it long enough? Yeah. Well, here, we can cut, we can get rid of the zip tie, and that'll probably help out a little bit. Right, first thing I'm going to do is shorten the video up a little bit. <laughs> okay, where's the zip tie at? Right. This big one right here? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one. Thank you. Pull that out of there. Only if you say please. Oh, there, oh, look at all that. We can take all of that out of there. Now we got room for the throttle cables. Look at that. Let's take that shit out. That one's just still two inches long. I don't know. I don't know how that happens. Well, this fits in here now. Kind of. <laughs> oh, why are this down there? Yeah, there we go. Just tighten that on there. It'll tighten Is itself it this in this one there. right here? Why would this go off? What do this? Nothing. What'd you do to it? What did you both do? I was nowhere near this vehicle. Uh huh. I have evidence. Is there a nut on the back side of this? Uh uh. This thing a through bolt? Yeah. No. Yeah, what it's got a little lip on it too. Good. Back to those precision uh, tightening instrument there. Where's the wires at? Why do you got the switch on sideways? It doesn't have to be on sideways, does it? Is there a flat spot on that thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is. Two flat spots. Yeah, but see, you don't have to use those flat spots. Is there a bigger flat spot? Originally, I was trying to avoid that. Yeah. I think they were trying to make it work, but. I say you probably had to shave that powder coat out of there and it probably worked. But then it would stick through way too far. I think we need to. Where'd you get that in there? <laughs> I had it in there fine. <laughs> Hold the bike. Hold the bike. Take the wire up out of the way. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty custom piece there. There. Yeah, it'll fit. Oh. Yeah, the powder coat's just a little, little tight there. Hammer. So we just gotta got to do a little precision filing. We see it's already self clearance uh, a minor bit. Hardly a Davidson Motor Company. Hardly a Davidson. <laughs> Now we're custom fitting. Spit clean, look at that. <clears throat> the old spit shine. Ooh, look at that. I think it should put on like that. Oh yeah. No one will ever An start it. Anti-theft. So that's still good there. Yeah. Do these things just pop off here? Uh, I'm not sure what those pieces of crap are, but... I'm just tired of holding it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a cut. Did you mark them so we know which one's which? Nope. nope. Good. What color does this wear? White? Mm -hmm. Here, we'll get it on video. That way we can just wind the video back. This is white, pink. black, and pink. All right, so pink goes on the front cylinder, and white and black go to the rear cylinder. You're assuming we're going to even reuse any of those parts. Well, the wires will have to reuse. Now, this won't work anymore because of this bracket. So we need a, a washer? We need a big stinking washer. What do we have on the bracket on the other side? Oh, well, we can actually break that part of the bracket out, or the plastic off. Yeah, we can break this off because it's got a little fancy 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm saying. You can just trim that whole piece off, and then you have all the little bullshit too, and it hides all the. Oh, that'd be fucking custom. That looks like a whole other video on how to modify a shitty piece of crap. It's called hitting the bandsaw. Okay, let's go work on that now. Fucking play! Oh, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Just put it in the lathe and then just. All you have to do is hold this right there. Just like a chop saw. That's not as, that's not as high tech, though. Look how precision of a chuck uh, up that is. I would, I would not put another. Uh, <laughs> Not, not quite. Well, here you go. It's actually pretty straight. It's the plastic part that's all jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys making that? Custom. I don't, really, I don't even know. I think he's just doing this to show off, to be honest. <laughs> We're making a custom a igni ignition. ignition. No, not a bigger hole. No. We're actually taking that whole front piece. Yeah. We're going way too slow. We need to go faster. I want this to fling off and hit it on the face. See, we're well, taking that front see? piece off so we have all the key oh, position no. and everything. Take a knife and stuff. That's, hey, I was hey. like, hey, look. That's too high. We can just... <laughs> all right, so we got to get the precision in. made right to the label size. No, Oh, it's got some fins in there. Look at that support. That's even better. Now we can have a Check that out. custom washer like that. Only here at Teacher Machine. Not a plastic file though. Alright. That, that's custom right there. That's gonna work out perfect. Can't get that at this button. There you go. Yeah. Now we're gonna put this high tech device here. Skidoo. So we know it's good quality. How thick is that thing anyway? It's pretty thick. Not as thick as this. Oh, it's gone now. Look at that custom. Probably the more of his uh, switch bracket failed. Yeah, it broke. Look at that. Back and lay the floor. Clean it up. Oh yeah. Can't have anything nasty like this around here. What the hell do you think this is, Harley? You gotta have precision the whole way through. Crush it with 60,000 tons of pressure, it might flatten it out some more. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to live with an uneven surface there. but I'm sure we could take a, a file and clean it up a little bit or a razor blade. <laughs> you can still read it too, look at that. Yep. Oh, we're going to deburr, you can't leave it this raw. 
You didn't think I was going to leave that without deburring it, did you? Sharp plastic could be dangerous. That's right. I might have to work on it another week or two and hurt myself. There you go. Ta da! So you new switch, please, spacer. Completely custom. Alright, let's see here. So, so say your charging system takes like goes on the outside yeah, like all this. Of this shit out. We got so it's right side up and everything. You know, if we had some instructions on how to do this, it's probably what they said what to do. It's tight. Switch is not tight though. So maybe we need a. That didn't work. Need some more spacer behind there. That didn't fly. Tighten it down more. <laughs> oh, it's pretty tight. Okay, I think that's all the threads that's on there. I think we're. Uh, we can take a more couple more threads off of this. Off the net. I think the problem is we did this wrong. So I should have left some of that height in there, but. Oh, no, if we just put a put a, another washer behind this nut on here, that'll space the nut off a little bit. Yeah, we have to find a washer that's really thin like that. And I think I know what the fuel injection stuff is thin. Turn the light on my help. So fuel injection with copper washer for some unknown application. Otherwise known as a Harley Davidson application now. And if we stick it on the back side of this. Yeah. Then you won't see it. <laughs> yep. Another setback. Look at these. It's going to be hard to hold that up. So. If we put some glue back there, it probably would have helped. Yeah, they can't. Stay in. Get the washer upside down. Actually we, actually, we don't know. We have to put the key in and find out which way it goes. It's going to go one way or the other. Yeah, we don't have a key. <laughs> What's that? What's that noise I hear? Is that a key? I found a key. Why does it matter? It goes like that. Yeah, alright, so it works. Switch, it works. Very good. Okay. Now, it's now the plastic didn't have to be put in there now, but it's so much nicer with that because now you can see how to turn it on and off. You know that that's ignition, not just the headlights on. What do you got? Multiple offs? Oh yeah. How many offs do you want? You got that one. You got that one. Not that one though. Which one do you have it off? All the way back or just in the middle? I I've never seen it switch like that. Where you can take it out on accessory. Oh, see, it has an off accessory ignition. See, that's why you have to have that on there. You wouldn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, high tech. Okay, now you got this gigantic of ass crap fucking shit hanging down. Well, now we got the throttle cables in the way, so we can't shove it back up in there. You realize that we could cut most of this away if we wanted to. Yeah, we'll just shove those back. Yeah, we'll just re zip tie it on there after we get everything else. Now, this thing here, what are we going to do with this pile of crap? Well, we can unhook it and throw it away. Like that? Yep. Perfect. Oh yeah, it looks better already. Except for this massive crap hanging down here. That's pretty good. I can take a pair of dikes right here. I bet. Just kind of lose it. Look at all this crap. What is all this crap? Nice. I think most of it is just uh, empty wires from the turn signals not being there. Turn what? The turn signals that aren't there anymore. Oh, okay. Empty wires. Look at this piece of crap. A pile of pile of parts, and then we got some extra stuff. It's growing. We have a bunch of lube on the on the sidewalk. I don't know where that came from. I want to we might be able sure, to use that. I want to make sure the kickstand's well lubed when we're kicking on it. Yep. All right, sit for right now. <laughs>